Welcome to the nationally recognized real estate radio network's Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. In their fun and informative way, Don and Gino are here to share their 34 combined years of real estate and finance experience. Don and Gino will also bring you the very best experts available to help guide you through the real estate, finance, tax, and credit topics you need to know that is truly relative to your home market and improving your financial wellness. Now, here are your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Fronti. Okay, yes, you are back with our second game of the doubleheader. On the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220, KHTS, on our Thanksgiving special right here. Don Gettling here with my co-host and someone I'm actually very thankful to be uh, partnered up with in business and on the radio show and uh, and now one of my best friends, Mr. Gino Fronti. Hey, it's always been a great time, Don, and uh, we were just talking about this the other day. It's been, uh, we've been working together for almost seven years now. That's gone by quick. It has gone by quick. And that's just because we have a lot of fun doing it. I can't believe you started working with me when you were 14. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, if you're watching us at donandgino.com, you will know that's not true. (laughs) (laughs) And he just grew that beard just while we were sitting here. (laughs) I know. Yeah, it it does happen. This morning when I was deciding, I was like, do I shave? Do I not shave? I was like, it's pretty cold out. I'm probably just going to grow my beard again. Yeah, so he grew it this morning. (laughs) It's like Fred Flintstone, man. (laughs) It does. It comes around pretty quick. No doubt. Well, hopefully you've... uh, enjoyed our special show today we thought we'd do something a little different um after 125 130 shows we thought we'd let you get to know a little bit more about the behind the scenes of the don and gino real estate and finance show and cherry creek mortgage because we have some incredible people that allow us to do what we do and allow us to share with you what's going on in the industry every thursday and uh, we've been bringing on some of our incredible team members and letting them share with you what it's like working with Cherry Creek, what their, their role is, and what, the, what it's like working in this industry, and what they're doing for Thanksgiving, what they're thankful for. It's been really fun. It actually has been fun. It's a little bit different. And uh, like you said earlier, Don, it's kind of nice that we get to share you know, our team and our family with everybody that listens to us on a weekly basis. They are our family, no yep. doubt about it. We spend more time with them than our family. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so if you want to be part of my family, cooking tips at <laughs> Don and Gino at gmail dot com. I can like I said, I will tell you how not to burn down your house by frying a turkey. I almost made that mistake once. Couple quick tips to take care of because I know some of you will be frying a turkey tonight. Real quick, make sure it's dry. Do not put it in a wet turkey. (laughs) You will have problems if you try to drop in a wet turkey into your hot fryer. Uh, Number two, it will become a fountain. So if you bring it down too quickly, the oil and fire will shoot out the neck of the turkey. Careful. That's how I almost killed everybody. (laughs) (laughs) So... You know, so if you get you look at Gino's family pictures from Thanksgiving, <laughs> they're the ones with no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that more than once. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us here on the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show, and Happy Thanksgiving to you. Uh, we're very thankful of all of you uh, joining us every Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., giving this opportunity to share with you what you need to know, want to know, and should know about real estate and finance, because our goal is to guide you to personal and financial wellness. Well, let's talk a little bit about real estate. I know we're sharing our team today, but let's talk a little bit about real estate because I'm thankful for the real estate market today. I'm thankful that it's not as volatile as it used to be, and I'm thankful that it's stabilizing, and it looks like we're going to be able to have some great, great, great opportunities in 2014, and hopefully some great real estate opportunities going forward for the next two to five years. Well, let's talk about that. And So what Gino's bringing up is there was a time when a lot of you out there were trying to get into a home. Uh, it's amazing. Nobody wanted a home for a while there because they were going down in value. Once the the uh, industry stabilized, which meant we finally ran out of most of our um, short sales and foreclosure properties that were bringing down the values. Once that was gone, uh, at least a portion of it, and now 85% were just normal sales, only 15% of the market. If that, I don't even think that now, maybe Probably 10% uh, percent is distressed homes. So that has allowed values to go up. Once everybody felt comfortable in the real estate market again rightfully so everybody dove in and man did they dive in with a fury well mostly the other thing that was unique and i just read another article about it the last couple of days is investment companies like blackstone blanks blackstone owns thirty thousand single family residences nationwide Um, and the reason they did that is a they saw that they could get amazing appreciation and B, they think it's probably not a bad business to be a landlord right now. And it really wasn't with the with the prices that they got them at. Because let's be realistic, because they didn't buy them in retail, they bought them in bulk. 
they bought them at 40% or 50% of what the market price was. So they, they should be cashing in pretty well. So that'll be some inventory coming down the pike in the next three to five years as yeah, well. Yeah, and hopefully they'll slowly release it and uh, it'll be controllable and help us, help you have some more inventory to choose from. That's the nice thing. The market was overheated for a little while there. We're talking double digit appreciation nationwide, 12.4, 12.8% appreciation year over year nationwide. That means everywhere. It was crazy. In Los Angeles, it was 22.4%. Out of control. It's out of control. So it was actually too overheated. Uh, multiple offers, no inventory. I mean, in Santa Cruz alone, we had less than 200 homes available, period. That was it. Yeah, that was completely unhealthy, Don. I mean, I think now we have somewhere in the five to 600 range, which is still actually low inventory. Yeah, it's That's still about a third of where it sh- needs to be. At least a half. Yeah. At least a half. Yeah, you I'm know. sure right now everybody would take a 1,000 homes for sale right now. Oh, it'd be great <laughs> because, you know, one of the things that's happening too is um, – well, thank goodness that all of this lack of inventory has spurred new construction again. Yes. And the beauty about new construction is it creates jobs like nothing else. I mean, building a home, so many people are involved. Plumbers, electricians, framers, foundation, cement, you name it. You need everything. So, um, It so also creates the uh, move-up buyer. I mean, those who want to buy into a new home, they buy their first home, now they want a brand new home. It creates inventory for new home buyers. Yeah, and I mean, the reality is, you know, people say, oh, they're going to build too many homes. They're going to build too many homes. Santa Clarita is a, a great place to live. Absolute great place to live. I moved out here in 2007. so and We haven't kicked you out yet. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because my wife's around. Otherwise, you would have. Good point. Good yeah. point. You do uh, have a lovely, you should be thankful for for your lovely wife. And I am. In fact, let's <laughs> jump into that. I'm th- very thankful for my wife, Nella. She bears uh, with all of my... Uh, Drama, especially I forget to take the trash out regularly. Sorry, he babe. One job. <laughs> one job, and he can't do that. He actually left one of our meetings to drive all the way back home to go make sure he took out the trash because he knew otherwise he'd be... Big trouble. Yeah, he'd be big sitting trouble, on the little couch China. just yep. because he couldn't take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> so big thanks to her and our beautiful three kids. We have uh, Sophia, our seven-year-old. Hey, Sophie. She now calls me all the time, too, to see when I'm coming home. Yeah, I have two right. now calling me to see what time I'm coming home. Yeah, that's why part of our business planning was how do we get home by seven? <laughs> yeah, and uh, Fabricio and Bruno, two great kids. Love to hang out with them, and uh, I think we're done. I think we're good. I think we're wrapping up shop, Don. I know you always say I'm increasing Santa Clarita's population every, <laughs> every couple true. of years, but <laughs> I think we're done now. Yeah, you're creating new home buyers. <laughs> <laughs> I need more inventory. No <laughs> doubt about it. No, we're, we're very, very uh, fortunate to have uh, our wonderful families. Our wives are so supportive. Cindy, God knows, she's very supportive of me and flexible with my crazy hours and our um, all the ventures that I go on. She even let me... Uh, put up with me getting a new motocross bike again i know yes but you were good you were good you didn't buy the motocross nope. bike where you're going to be 40 feet in the air killing yourself no I'm done yeah. with the professional motocross racing i found out that when you hit almost 50 your your body doesn't bounce anymore <laughs> it breaks <laughs> 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 so no she's been very very wonderful and my best friend and uh very thankful for you hun and i'm um, looking forward to uh Enjoying our Thanksgiving in Napa. Nice. Woo-hoo. Nice, nice. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so I'm thankful that you didn't get one of those crazy bikes either because that could create an awful lot of work for me if you're not around <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You're like, what kind of bike did you get? So now I get to just get an, I got an off-road bike so I can just hang with my, bu- my bros. See, all of them are getting older too. So now they're all starting to leave the motocross track slowly but surely due to choice or not so much. <laughs> yeah, well, like I said, you know, it's uh, it's probably, you know, as you know, you're kind of cutting yourself a little bit shy or short because you're saying, "Oh yeah, when you're old, this and that. When you get older, you can't do this, you can't do that." Not true. You're a monster at the gym. You're b- always beating all the young pups in the conditioning. <laughs> 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 I do, I do push, but they're they're awesome. I mean, the Afterburn crew. We'll give you guys a, a shout out because you have changed our entire office outlook uh, in our lives. I mean, in our office alone, over two hundred and 50 pounds probably lost just you know I, I alone are over 100 pounds and it's it's changed our life I mean I'm you know um, I, I have so much more energy our office eats differently you wake up at 4 30 in the morning yeah there there you go there's a that's a big one <laughs> that's, that's never happened before <laughs> but it's been great and uh, we're just uh, very fortunate to be surrounded by uh, great people great friends and uh, great workmates yeah, in fact, we've been talking to our workmates today, and it's been really nice also. To, you know, we got to spend a lot of time with them and get to know them personally, so we wanted to share that a little bit with you because on an individual basis, you get to work with them when we're doing a mortgage for you, but it's kind of nice that they get to see 
how we're able to come on the show every week to share you know some special time with you so that they can continue to take care of all of our loans while we're here and they're excellent at it they each have their specific roles they own their roles which is really nice there's no micromanagement going on at cherry creek they actually own their roles they do a great job of it which allows us to be here with you every thursday from 12 p.m to 2 p.m sharing with you what you really need to know to help guide you to personal financial wellness. So real quick, I'd love for you to join us on our website at donandgino.com. That's the hub. That's the access panel to the chat room. You can go to watch, chat, and listen live. That's the access to the YouTube channel and to our Facebook page. Please join us on our Facebook page because we can give you weekly, daily updates rather than weekly Hey, yeah, updates. we thank you for liking our Facebook page <laughs> 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 on this fine Thanksgiving day. Do not go away.